Hey guys, today we are doing the mini meatball launcher, aka when Italians make a tank. Here it is. Not joking, this is actually the tank that I'm going to try and use today to get a kill. So yeah, I, I'm honestly at a loss for words for this one. This is a this is when Italians make a tank. It's a go kart with an ant, with a 20 millimeter anti tank rifle. I mean, I kind of showed you the modular system, you know, try and do it. It's hard to, you know, really explain it without showing. I mean, it's literally a go-kart with a little bit of armor and a 20 millimeter anti-tank gun. And I'm a little bit at a loss for words for this one, to be completely honest. It's, it's not really good. It's not horrible. It has pitiful armor, though. It can be punctured by a 50 cal, so... Not great, but we're going to try and see what we can do with it today. It's something that I really think will be either really fun or really torturous for me. So, you're welcome for putting me through the torture of using this tank. This tank can be punctured by a 50 cal easily. I'm fine with that on anti-aircraft guns, but I don't want my tank, my tank destroyer actually, so this thing is built to kill another tank. To get taken out by a 50 cal. Just saying, that's not good for the Italians. I mean, I know they specialize in food, but you shouldn't use bread for armor. That that doesn't work. So, definitely something that's going to be interesting. We don't have very good penetration, to be completely honest with you on it. It'll be an interesting one to watch. But we did get a half-decent map for hiding. So I'm hoping that we're going to be able to kind of use the rocks and stuff to our advantage. And maybe, I don't know, disable a turret or something. I'm honestly just going to maybe get, I'm going to set one goal. I want to get at least one assist with that tank. And so, this is going to be interesting. So, you know, we spawn in. There's only one type of armor, one type of ammo we can use for the go-kart with a cannon. So, we grab it and we go. So, as you can see, like, look at my size versus this guy. I'm like the size of his, you know, I'm just the size of his chassis and that's a smaller size German tank so I'm a midget basically so we're gonna try and get up here and get up to this little mountainside right here I'm hoping that we can maybe get some you know cheeky shots on some people because you can't really just straight up shoot people like you do with other tanks you know you have to be able to puncture armor and with this tank you're not going to be able to do that so we're going to have to try and use some rocks for armor since we've got a low profile and we're basically going to just have to try and kind of like punk just kind of peck at their armor until we bust a hole i guess so we did see them coming they are coming over this ridge right here so i'm hoping maybe that we're going to be able to go and take some of them out let's see come on come on come on come on come on Okay, we missed. But I will say something good about this tank while I am in this little battle right here. It has an amazing reload rate. I mean, like, you can fire spam fire because it is a semi-auto rifle. Just a high-calibered one. So, basically, you can shoot about, I think it's 8 to 10 shots really quickly. And then you have to reload the whole magazine and then shoot 8 to 10 more. And so, we've actually kind of pulled around on them. I'm hoping we're going to be able to at least, like, disable a track or something. Since we do have fast armor, if we do find an area where we can do a lot of damage, we can spam like this. Come on. Yes. Okay. So we did get a... We got that. And now, as you can see, I'm literally like... It's like chunking meatballs at them. You're not going to do any damage. It's unfortunate right now because we're kind of stuck up behind this rock. And, uh, you know, we're not French, so we don't have a really good runaway rate or backup, I guess as they call it. So, you know... We're not really going to be able to get out of this, but basically our only hope right now is to try and just spam like crazy. Like, it's literally like a BB gun trying to kill a bear. It don't work, and it's not fun. Although I will give a little bit of a kind of add-on. This thing is extremely funny when you are able to disable a tank that's like way bigger than you, but you have to shoot the tracks. Like, with these right here, we are going to have to try and get that track, but we can't do it. Unfortunately, we're kind of in a stuck spot right now because we're not going to be able to get these guys. They're all up in the village and, you know, I don't think a 20 millimeter is going to do like some of those 75s do and just be able to punch through both sides of a wall. We're just screwed right now. I mean, absolutely, T totally screwed. So, yeah, currently right now, I'm just going to try and get us away from here, try and maybe move us over here, see if we can get a shot on somebody, but I'm afraid... 
that we're not going to be able to. I really wish that uh, tank barrel, well, I guess you can call it a tank barrel, just that rifle barrel was on the other side, but unfortunately right now I'm kind of struggling with my American self to drive with the left side of my car in mind. So, you know, we're going to try and get this guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't think we're going to be able to get him, unfortunately. All we're kind of doing is just pecking his armor. We luckily were able to take out his tracks at that point, so he is at least going to be slightly injured. Which, I don't know, maybe somebody will get him and we could have done slightly good. But, I mean, this tank is just kind of pitiful, to be completely honest. It's kind of sad, because I think it would be an amazing tank, but just not in this type of, you know, gameplay. It's very difficult, and it's one of those tanks that if you can get behind somebody or you can hide in an area and let them come to you, it works. But... With this map, you kind of have to use it like a sniper, and, you know, a 20 millimeter ain't going to go very far. Like I said, it's like shooting BBs at a bear. You're probably just going to get sideswiped and killed. But, I mean, hey, at least you'll have a funny story to tell if you live through it. Which you're probably not, so I guess you won't have a funny story. So I guess just don't do it. That might be a better plan. So, from this channel, don't do that. Yes, I'm kind of bored. So. Not gonna lie, this commentary is getting weirder and weirder just because this tank is so, like, mind-numbingly slow to play because I can't puncture people's armor. So, yeah, this is, ironically, probably the le my least favorite tank destroyer, even though tank destroyers are some of my favorites just because they're, you know, heavily gunned so I can just punch through people's armor. Now, right here, I kind of think that there might be somebody around that corner so let's see nope nope yep we're not playing that so my uh you know midi tank sense kind of kicked in and i was like nah i'm good so i think we're gonna have to get out of here I also hear bombs in the background so definitely don't want to stay around here you know like i said bread and don't stop bombs so it's definitely just a bad spot to be in to be completely honest with you and I feel bad for the people who had to serve in these tanks because this one sucks. Like, I really pray nobody had to actually serve in a wartime attack with this tank. I mean, it must have sucked. And I mean, right here I'm kind of stuck because I'm behind this tree. But if I go away from the tree, I'm going to be dead because I have no armor. Like, none. Tenfold would be better armor than what I have. So basically my plan right now is I'm just kind of trying to wait and hope somebody like runs out kind of carelessly and I can get like a side shot because a lot of people's side armor is a lot lighter than their outward and now I'm really hoping this Russian tank, come on brother, go flush him out for him, flush him out, flush him out, come on, come on. Nope, he's dead. Never mind. So yeah, I'm dead. I'm just, I'm dead. I called it. I, I called it. I'm sorry, but that is just a, like, just that's just a horrible spot to be in. I didn't even want to watch it because that was just horrible. So, let's go to a, I guess you could say better Italian design. In my opinion, all these current level, well, BR1s kind of suck. So, I'm not really going to call them good. But I guess we could call it the better design is this one, you know. I don't really have anything to say about it. It's not really impressive. It doesn't really have a great anything. So let's just see if maybe the Italians can make a good tank. They just screwed it up with one. Yeah. I mean, I guess we clip, clipped them, but that's about the majority of what we did with that shot. Let's see. We're going to ease up right here. Maybe we can get a shot off. Come on, come on, come on, go. Okay, so we basically just bounced a bullet off of this dude. Never mind. All the tanks are armored with bread. Apparently, I guess the army ran out of metal, so we started using Italian bread. So, they didn't burn it enough for it to be good armor. Okay, next plan. If we start using bread for armor again, Italians, I need you to burn it more. Like, get that stuff brick hard. I want it to be at least able to stop a BB gun. Got it, guys? So, and if y'all actually are Italian, don't take offense to this. But y'all made horrible tanks back then. Y'all made some better ones down the line. I think I haven't got to them yet. I've been playing a lot of American, but I'm hoping y'all made some better tanks than this. So, see, we're going to try and snipe this guy over this hill right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Okay, okay. Uh, we, I guess we can find something to do with that. I'll be completely honest. I'm trying to find a silver lining in this. Because this has been like the worst game I've played in a while. So, yeah, you know, we're going to try and get this guy. And unfortunately, we get tracked. That happens. So that's the end of this. I've spent all three of my respawns being completely useless to my team because I was Italian and doing this. So, guys, this video was... I'm not going to say it. It wasn't fun. Okay, it was an interesting video. Let's put it like this. I would say it was something that I would never want to do seriously, but if I want to meme and do, I think it's a very fun tank to play. But, yeah, this sucked. Because you don't have any armor on any other tanks and their guns don't do a lot of damage so definitely if you're looking for something fun to do yeah go use the tank if you're looking to get nice if you get nice with this tank send it to me and I will put it up on the channel I will give you full shout out if you get nice with this tank I promise that is my word email it to me and I will put it up on the channel so guys hope you all have a great day this has been an interesting one and I'll probably try and do some more of these main videos hope you have a great day and goodbye